I'm going to show you how I measure and do an estimate for mulch installation. We're here at Home Depot. We just picked up some bags of mulch, about 30 bags of mulch. I'm going to show you how I measure, how I do the estimate, how I do all my calculations. We got Dougie Doug helping out. We're going to go ahead and get to our job site and we'll begin from there. Let's go. To get the area of the flower bed where we're going to install the mulch, it's going to be length times width and that will give you your square footage. So we have two uh, flower beds here. <clears throat> so all we're going to do is just measure a rectangle. Even though you have a curved shape like this, we're still going to treat it as a long uh, triangle. So it's going to be length times width. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. Fourteen feet by fourteen by eight. And of course, since I got Doug here, he's gonna remember all this, right, Doug? <laughs> 14 by eight. There you go. Usually, I'll have my notepad and I'll I'll just jot the uh, dimensions down. So let's go ahead and do this one. This is gonna be seven by. Like I said, we're just gonna treat it like a like a triangle. We're not gonna worry about the curve or anything. Straight run, right? Yeah. So here we go. Seven by 15. 14 by eight, seven by 15. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the office and I'm gonna show you how to calculate and account for how much mulch, uh, either bags or yards we need. And I'll kind of give you some tips on how to also charge for uh, installing mulch. All right guys, well I'm gonna show you how to calculate this by paper when uh, we're trying to figure out how many bags of mulch we need to cover an area so. The dimensions we got for our area right now, we have 14 by eight, and we have 15 by seven. Very simple, just regular math. So we got 112, then we got 105 here. We're gonna add both of these, which we get 217 square feet. So that's the area that we need to cover with mulch. Okay. Now we know that a bag of mulch is two cubic feet. So, um, and of course this is like, if you're gonna buy it over at Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay, so now we gotta figure out how many inches deep or thick we're going to go with the mulch i usually go about anywhere from two to three so we're just, in this instance we're going to go three inches um, deep so we're going to multiply the area with three inches which uh I've got my calculator here so three times 217 Give us 651. Okay. Now, uh, so that we could get, so we, we, we need to convert that number into uh, cubic feet. So a cubic foot of mulch will cover 12 square feet with about an inch thick. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna multiply 651 by 12. Uh, for that same reason because like I mentioned a cubic foot a mulch will cover about 12 square feet um, And about one inch Deep so let's go ahead and do 651 I'm gonna Divide that by 12 that gives us 5425 Cubic feet Okay, so we're just gonna round it to the nearest whole number, so we're just gonna do 54. Okay, so 54 cubic feet. Like I mentioned earlier that a bag is two cubic feet. So in order to see how many bags we need, we're gonna divide 54 by two. 
So let's go ahead and divide that by two, which gives us 54 by two. That gives us 27 bags that we need in order to cover 217 square feet. You could actually go to the Home Depot website and they have a mulch calculator. You plug that in, it gives you the cost. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You got your price. Here's a quick tip. 13 bags of two cubic feet of mulch equals approximately uh, one yard. So 13 bags makes one yard. So let's see how many yards of mulch we got here. So we're gonna divide 27. Bear with me guys, I know this is a lot of math. 27, we're gonna divide that by 13. That gives us two, approximately 2.7 yards, or we'll just round it to the nearest whole number, two yards of mulch that we have to install in a two, 217 square foot area. Now what I, the way I charge, now this is gonna be different, obviously, depending on where you guys live, but I usually charge anywhere from 100 to 125 dollars uh, per yard. So if we were going with 100, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, would be my estimate to install two yards of mulch and that includes uh, the material and the labor. I'm going to show you how to input the information the square footage that we got into the Home Depot um, mulch calculator so let's go ahead and get into it right now so of course we're at the Home Depot website and what we're looking for is mulch. Let's go ahead and put mulch here we're gonna do wood mulch Okay, the customer is wanting black mulch. We're going to go with the Vigoro black mulch. So let's go ahead and click that. And what we're going to do is just scroll, scroll all the way down until we see uh, mulch topsoil calculator. We're going to hit that. Very simple, very easy. And uh, we're going to get to this uh, page here, which we're going to choose our material. So we're gonna go ahead and stay with mulch, but if we click the drop down arrow, we have topsoil rubber as well. Okay, so there's two ways of uh, inputting the calculation. You can either do the length times width, but since we already have the area, which is 217 square feet, we're gonna go ahead and just enter that. So 200 square feet. Now, it is recommended that you do three inches of, uh, of of mulch, but if you wanted to go less, you wanted to go more, you know, put it here. So three inches, we're gonna stick with that. We're gonna go ahead and get that calculated, and boom, we got the results. And the total volume is 54 cubic feet. So that is equivalent to 28 bags of mulch. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want to figure out how much or how much uh, it is in yardage. All you have to do is divide 28 by 13. 13 bags is approximately one yard of mulch. So that's that's what we got there. So 28 bags of mulch that we need. So we're going to go into shop for bags. Scroll down here. Like I mentioned, we're going to go with the Vigoro black mulch. And it's for three dollars and forty-eight cents. So we're gonna go here, put twenty-seven, and we could eat it. We could either add it to the cart, or if we're gonna buy it online, you could do that. But we're gonna go ahead and just uh, go to the store and buy it there. But this is gonna give me an idea of how much the uh, cost is gonna be. So the estimate total is ninety-three dollars and ninety-six cents. This is before tax. So you're going to add the tax on that. I usually, since I'm going to go pick it up, I have to order it. 
I chart I put on top of that 30 percent for for uh, you know for picking up the mulch also guys when you go to Home Depot and you buy a yard or more a lot of times they'll give you a discount you have to ask for it but a lot of times they're willing to give you the discount so there it is guys hopefully uh, this kind of helped you uh, with estimating on mulch or installing mulch purchasing the mulch and also for um, the labor cost of, uh, of installing the mulch like I mentioned earlier 100 bucks per yard is usually my rate it it could fluctuate a little bit but not much it's usually sometimes it'll be more but it just depends on how much mulch or how many yards we're gonna be putting down that being said guys uh, let's get back to the video so we went to Home Depot and we're using the Scott black mulch color advantage we're using black the reason we went with a darker color I think it's gonna give a nice little contrast against uh, this light colored brick and I think it's just gonna make everything pop it's gonna make the uh, shrubs pop it'll make the flower bed pop it'll make the house also pop so <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and start bringing all the mulch down to the site and we're gonna start spreading it stay tuned Here's the uh, end result of what I like to call the aftermath. The shrubs are nice, tight. The mulch is looking good. Nice and dark color, contrast with the light color of the house. Flash, flash, boom, straight away, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> straight away, straight to you, fellas. Straight from my vlogging camera to your TV or phone.